Well, Ethan Klein of the H3 podcast has made a lot of right-wingers online angry because he dared to criticize their sacred cow, Joe Rogan. So here's what he had to say via Twitter. He writes, Joe Rogan, who lives on elk meat, egg yolk, and human growth hormone with lungs full of tar, thinks he's healthier than everyone. This mf -er is such a bitch that when he got COVID, he threw the kitchen sink at it. If you're so healthy, just ride it out like you say a man should. Dude has caused so much vaccine hesitancy and misinformation, and he doesn't even have the balls to stand by the shit he preaches. Now he's on his show talking about how fat people should just die of COVID. Dude is such a fucking piece of shit. Instead of getting vaccinated, he takes Regeneron, an experimental drug that was developed alongside mRNA vaccines. His logic makes no sense. And then credits Ivermectin, which does fucking nothing for COVID. Not to mention whatever the fuck is in Alpha Brain. Meanwhile, while Joe is on Big Pharma conspiracy against vaccines, someone needs to ask him who makes Ivermectin and Regeneron and all the other shit he took when he had COVID. Yeah, I would like to see somebody challenge him, but unfortunately, it seems as if Joe Rogan doesn't really invite on many guests who are willing to offer a different perspective. Now, in terms of what Joe Rogan allegedly said about how fat people should just die of COVID, if he said that, that would be absolutely terrible, but without having seen the clip, we'll just have to kind of take that with a grain of salt. But really, I think that the point that Ethan is making here is that Joe Rogan is insincere, right? He talks about how you don't really need to get vaccinated if you have a healthy lifestyle. If you eat right, if you work out, then, you know, you should be fine. And he is someone who I think rightfully so is confident in his own health because he's, he's in great shape. Nobody can deny him that. But he didn't practice what he preached when he got COVID. And that's the point of what Ethan is saying here. He says one thing and then does another. If he were actually sincere about telling people that they should trust their own health and live a healthy lifestyle and then they'll be protected from COVID, then he wouldn't have thrown the kitchen sink at his case of COVID when he got it. In theory, he would just trust that he lived a healthy enough lifestyle and he, that would suffice. He'd be protected. But he didn't do that, though. So the problem is that what he's doing is he's telling people one thing, doing another, and he's misinforming people. And you can't quantify this. I, I'll admit that you can't quantify the impact that Joe Rog Rogan has had. But he has a large enough platform to where it is absolutely guaranteed that at least multiple people who took his advice and decided to not get vaccinated has died. That's how big his reach is. And again, you cannot quantify this, but you know that this is the impact that he's having. He says, well, you know, don't listen to me. He, he called himself a fucking idiot at some point in 2021, but people do listen to him. He knows people listen to him. So Ethan Klein is absolutely correct to call that out. And I would say that he's brave to call this out because there are a lot of sacred cows in American culture currently. Joe Rogan is absolutely one of them. We have others like Dave Chappelle to where if you criticize them, even tepidly, there will be a swarm of people who come after you. And what we have to do to combat that is just criticize them anyway. Fuck your sacred cows. Nobody is above criticism. And if Joe Rogan on his gigantic platform is going to spread misinformation, I think that it is important for people with large platforms like Ethan Klein, a much larger platform than me, but also to a lesser extent myself, to call them out because this is bad. And I don't think that I have the reach to effectively combat the misinformation that Joe Rogan is spreading. But if I can make one or two people convinced that what he's saying is bullshit, then I think that still is important. I think it's a worthwhile endeavor. But roidoids were incredibly angry at Ethan Klein. The point that he made flew right over their heads, and they kind of just resorted to fat shaming him, pointing out that he's overweight. So how dare he comment on the health of a man much healthier than him. Lauren Chen tweeted, huge misrepresentation of Joe Rogan aside, Ethan Klein is in no position to lecture anyone on health or being a man. And see, this is what's irritating to me. Whenever you criticize one of these sacred cows, Joe Rogan, Dave Chappelle, the immediate response is, oh, well, you took them out of context. You misrepresented them. You didn't see the entire episode, so you can't possibly comment on that particular clip that you saw, but actually we can. We can. And even if it's the case that he is being misrepresented here, which, I mean, it's Joe Rogan, who knows? Would I believe that Joe Rogan would say that fat people should just fucking die? Yeah, I think that he would probably say something like that, but I don't know. I haven't seen the clip. But I mean, if that's the case, if you think that all of these people are so susceptible to being misrepresented, perhaps they should be more clear with the way that they speak about things because these are very important subjects. COVID-19, this is a global pandemic. 
and it's killed over 800,000 people in the United States alone. Cases are soaring. So if you're not going to speak to this issue or talk about this issue with sensitivity, with knowledge, if you're just going to talk shit on your podcast, then expect criticism. It's virtually guaranteed. Now, the quartering, aka the quivering, chimes in saying, Ethan Klein questioning anyone's physical condition is like me, questioning anyone's physical condition. So, a little bit of uh, self-deprecating humor there, and I respect that. But, you know, I expect the quartering to be angry because the H3 podcast did an episode, a content court on the quivering, and they thoroughly dismantled him. So if I were the quartering, I would be outraged at anything that Ethan Klein does. Nonetheless, uh, internet shit Lord Keemstar chimed in saying, Ethan Klein questions if Joe Rogan is healthy. Ethan Klein, age 36, Joe Rogan, age 54. And then he posted side by side photographs showing that Ethan Klein is overweight and Joe Rogan, daddy Rogan, is in tip top shape. And then he followed up with a surprised peak Pikachu face tweet when people accused him of fat shaming after he quite literally fat shamed Ethan Klein. So yeah, this is what happens whenever you criticize people like Joe Rogan. There's cults of personalities around these people. And notice how it's always the dumbest people who have cults of personalities around them. Donald Trump, Joe Rogan, to a lesser extent, Jimmy Dore. It's like you, you would hope that people who are smarter would get bigger followings, but the people who follow them are smarter and therefore are less susceptible to be driven towards someone because of their personality. So it makes sense why so many dumb people form these cults of personalities. And whenever you push back against these big figures, these sacred cows like Joe Rogan, they they freak out. You know, they, they melt down. They get triggered, for lack of a better word. So, yeah, Ethan Klein uh, criticized Joe Rogan, and I think that that is really important because if anyone has the platform to criticize Ethan Klein, uh, criticize Joe Rogan, it's definitely Ethan Klein. I mean, he's not near the level of Joe Rogan, but he still has one of the largest platforms in the world. So when Ethan Klein pushes back against this sort of misinformation that's being peddled by hucksters and right-wing liars like Joe Rogan, I do think that that's important. I think it's worthwhile, and I think it's worth giving him credit for this. Were you acting like a...